You're listening to the Hockey Podcast Network. New shows every day. Find us at thehockeypodcastnetwork.com or wherever you get your podcasts from. Welcome to episode 196 of Red Wings Rant, where tirades and impassioned pleas for your Detroit Red Wings finally have a home. This will be uh, my second attempt at trying to record a five-minute episode to remind you guys we're still here, uh, but also go over a couple of quick hits, only because there are so many huge changes, I guess, uh, since uh, our, our last live episode. Of course, uh, Mike and I decided to do it was just kind of give you guys a quick little hit there. Um talked about uh, the canceled games and then we summed up what was going to happen real quick uh, against the New York Rangers of course since then uh, the NHL canceled the uh, games on December 27th so the Red Wings uh, first game at this moment uh, is going to be against the New York Islanders so who knows if that'll actually come to fruition but uh, basically what we want to do right now is just kind of talk about why that's happening so you guys can have that uh, little bit of information to digest uh, here after Christmas and as we get closer to New Year's and we'll see you guys hopefully Wednesday night uh, to wrap up the third period against the Islanders and of course give you our full takes uh, on the week and in, in a real episode but until then here's this uh, little quick take on what's been going on with the NHL and why uh, Monday's game against the Rangers is canceled. As Elliot Friedman reported earlier today, uh, it looks like the NHL was hard at work trying to create some uh, new rules, uh, maybe some uh, CBA exemptions, if we want to talk about them that way, uh, to help teams get through uh, what what's becoming a, a big problem in the NHL. Of course, the COVID situation continues to get worse. And if the NHL is going to keep their rules in regards to how players are ruled out, uh, what COVID protocol is, uh, this is this is at least going to give them some room to make some space. And what I'm talking about are uh, some rules for goaltenders, uh, emergency cap exemptions, and uh, taxi squads back in place until the All-Star break. Uh, so this is what Elliot Friedman reported earlier today. Goaltenders uh, <clears throat> teams will, uh, will be allowed to add an additional goalie when two regulars are not available. Uh, for emergency cap exemption, uh, from here on in, teams are in danger. Uh, teams in danger of dressing fewer than two goalies, six defensemen, or twelve forwards for a game will be able to make emergency recalls. The cap hit of any such player cannot exceed one million dollars. And taxi squads, again, these are in place until the All Star break. For now, teams don't have to use them. Maximum six players. No one can be on it for more than twenty days. Uh, there are some eligibility requirements. You can't be on it. If you're an NHL roster as of December 22nd, uh, you are waiver exempt. We're on the NHL roster for at least 75% of the regular season days are played in 16 of the team's 20 games played through December 22nd. Uh, Taxi squad players can practice and travel in the NHL team. Compensation is AHL level pay with a stipend of $500 each day they are on it. Schedules on pause uh, until at least Tuesday. Players returned. Uh, to their NHL homes uh, based on Sunday for testing and the option of their first post-Christmas practice. Hey, hockey fans, DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner in the NHL, has a no-brainer offer that'll make you a winner once any shot gets past the goalie. New customers can bet just $1 on any NHL game and win $100 in free bets if either team scores. That's right, the NHL got rid of ties in 2005, so you know someone is going to light the lamp. If Sportsbook isn't available in your state yet, no worries. Everyone can play for huge cash prizes all season long with DraftKings Daily Fantasy Hockey Contest. DraftKings is giving all new customers a free shot at millions of dollars in total prizes with their first deposit. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now and use promo code THPN. Throw down $1 in any NHL game and win 100 in free bets if either team scores a goal. That's promo code THPN this week at DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NHL. Must be 21 or older, New Jersey, Indiana, or Pennsylvania only. New customers only. Minimum $5 deposit and $1 wager required. One per customer. Restrictions apply. See DraftKings.com slash sportsbook for details. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. Bye. Uh-huh.
Now, the biggest punch to the gut happened earlier today on a Red Wings uh, tweet. Uh, forwards Robbie Fabry and Michael Rasmussen are coming off of uh, the NHL's COVID-19 protocol list, but being added, Red Wings defenseman Nick Letty, but what hurts the most? Uh, Lucas Raymond. Gosh, you, you, you hope he's okay. You hope he's doing all right. Um, but as you know, as a fan, we love watching Lucas every single night. He's having an incredible Calder, uh, a Calder uh, trophy run right now. So we, we just, we want to see him back on the ice, but man, if, if there's one gut punch, there's losing the Olympics, there's having games canceled, but Lucas Raymond, who, uh, I'm sure, you know, we, we've already found, uh, we've squished him into a nice soft, cuddly spot in our hearts, um. You, you don't want to see the young boy uh, going through anything like this. So get well, Lucas, uh, we're thinking about you, but um, man, is this, this was the gut punch of all gut punches uh, as Red Wings fandom goes. Now, since it's the holidays, we do have to mix in some good news. Uh, here's a good look at team Canada's goal from Donovan Sabrango. Of course, the 2020 third round pick this uh, pass coming from Cole Perfetti, but Sabrango buries that one out in front and uh, looking good to start there for Sabrango. Uh, but there were a couple other uh, notable goals uh, scored. We can take a look and jump on over to Team Sweden. Now, this isn't necessarily an order of uh, the goals that were scored for Team Sweden. But here's uh, Theodor Niederbach burying one here against Russia. Looking like a beaut right there. Um, <clears throat> really going low, too. Is uh, really a, a nice little CNI single from Theodor Niederbach. Feels good to see uh, whoever... <laughs> <laughs> wherever he's going to end up for the Red Wings, whether center or or on the wing, as he's been playing uh, not only for Team Sweden, but uh, over in the SHL as well. Uh, looking good there on the break, but uh, there's another breakaway that happened that uh, was extremely exciting. So we want to take a look at Simon Edmondson, who put one away earlier today. And uh, honestly, I mean, it's one of those things, too, where you're talking about uh, the difference between uh, a forward going in on the break and Barry and one, as uh, we did get to see Niederbach just do there. Uh, but uh, Sharon from Ice Hockey Gifts, um, this was an absolute beaut in every sense of the world, word. Uh, this is going to be, if you're watching on YouTube, a little bit sh uh, smaller of a video. But uh, boy, oh boy, Edmondson going uh, going five hole on this one. But you can see um, this is a shorthanded goal. So he's making the choice to go pretty hard on the point. Which is which is incredible amount of awareness uh, from the defensive side, and uh, not not something you'd expect, you know, from a defenseman. And you know, in the World Juniors, you you sometimes can take advantage of uh, the fact that not only uh, you know you're you're young out there, but there's going to be a lot of young guys out there. So you can go ahead and make those uh, decisions to take a crack at the puck on the point as Simon Evanson did. And boy, oh boy, should this be exciting for Red Wings fans to see, because that, that is a beautiful goal. That's a beautiful play, beautiful decision. And again, do not forget that is your first round pick from the 2021 draft, making it look easy. All right. So as we wrap up here, I got to thank you guys all for tuning in throughout the entire year. Like, uh, like I said, we'll, we'll try and catch you guys on Wednesday. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to wish you a happy new year just yet because we'll have the episode coming up soon. But uh, thanks, guys, for coming along uh, for the ride. Uh, we're, we, uh, we we love seeing the subscriber count jump up. Uh, and it's it's something where, uh, you know, now for us to give back, this is where we're playing the games. I got to remind you guys to head on over to the Mitchell Stevens episode. We did a profile on Mitchell Stevens. Check out that episode if you haven't seen it yet. Uh, but what you want to do is comment who you want us to do a profile on next, because we'll be announcing that at the beginning of the new year. And of course, if you picked the player that we're going to be doing a profile on, you win a $25 gift card uh, to the NHL shop. That's right. Uh, so get your picks in there and then uh, we'll be getting back with you to give you that gift card if you're the one who picked uh, the right player. Now, if you want to do us the most good, if you want to give us a late Christmas present, head on over to Apple Podcasts. Do subscribe, rate, and review for us. That review on Apple Podcasts does us the most good for getting discovered by other Red Wings fans just like you. The other thing you can do, head on over to our YouTube channel. Of course, we are the Brothers of Discussion. You can find us as Red Wings Rant as well. And uh, give us a subscribe. Go ahead, watch the vids, always comment. That helps us out a ton. Uh, but ultimately, we just like seeing you guys show up and watch the episodes. And when we go live, uh, we should have a more steady schedule coming out of the new year. And then uh, we'll be seeing you guys twice a week so we can 
chat Red Wings hockey. Here are your thoughts uh, as some of our uh, top fans on the show love uh, and know that uh, we love sharing your guys' takes and we love making that a part of the show. So come along if you haven't joined us for a live episode yet because we'd love to have you. So with that, from the bottom of my heart, thank you on behalf of my brother and myself uh, for a wonderful year so far. Still got one more episode before uh, we hit that new year, but thanks for tuning in today. And uh, thanks for letting us uh, help you digest all the uh, Christmas feasts and hopefully leftovers as well with this quick little ditty of an episode. And I hope you guys have a good one. All right. Merry Christmas. And like I said, no Happy New Year yet. But we'll see you guys next. Uh, we'll see you later this week. Bye.